It's safe to say Chris Poole has turned FSU Volleyball around. ACC champs, check. Final four, check. Ending a 21 match losing streak to Florida, check. While everyone sees the success, the way Coach Poole has achieved it has been unique the last two years by employing a two-setter approach. You have to have that chemistry between your setter and the player that's going up fast because the style's a little bit different. Even between these two middles, completely different styles of attacking the ball. And so by matching up a specific setter with the middle, it allows our offense to run very efficient and make sure that those guys always know that they're going to work with one setter during practice and during games and they can just focus on that throughout. Poole paired Doigu Ducecheller and Ashley Neff and Sarah Wickstrom and Saria Freeman to help with consistency in the middle. With both Neff and Freeman near the top of the NCAA in hitting percentage, it's clear the combinations are working. Having you know, like just one setter to work with, especially for middle, it's, I think it helps because the sets are, you know, it's a lot more quick. It's a quicker yeah. than a lot of the other sets, so you, things have to be um, almost perfect for yeah. it to work out. So only having to worry about like one person to focus on, like I think that kind of that may help the setters, and I think it's also helps us as hitters. Well, I would say that I feel like it works really well just because like you're able to get to know the setter one on one and like be able to like in crutch situations like she kind of knows what I'm what I'm what I'm thinking and like what we want to run and like what we think is most effective and then like we learn from Ashley and Dougie too when they go in like what they're doing and like what what they're running and what's working for them. The duos have both developed great chemistry off the court. You, so you kind of have to be yeah. able to get along because we're all together 24-7 yeah. so <laughs> you have to get along. Yeah so I think we get along pretty well. And, you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Definitely. I know. I just feel like um, our whole team, like we, it is like it doesn't. We're all sisters, which has fueled their connections on it. Sometimes, like me and Sarah, we'll be thinking the same thing, and we both like do the same sign to each other, and we're just like we start laughing, like yeah, because like we both like know exactly what we want to do. So it's just like we have like those moments, and it's just like it just like shows how much like we've grown, and, like how much we adapted to each other over over the years. Yeah, even yeah. in the play, I'll like I'll be like it's during the play, and I'll be running past her, and I'll be like, yo, Surya, <laughs> black, black. And, like it's completely different, yeah. and she knows exactly what to do, and it, we can do it right away. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, I, I think we make eye contact sometimes like yeah we right do. before she sits down like looking at her and it's like okay <laughs> we're set. so I mean I think that's something that helps is like we have built like a chemistry um, for the last two years. Now if those duos continue their success you could see more teams employ the tactic but until then coach Poole and the Seminoles will continue to use their unorthodox methods to keep making history. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com